Yeah, I'm going there. I have decided to make a video about DSP, Dark Side Phil, DSP Gaming, Philip Brunel, whatever you want to call them. Never in my life would I ever, ever imagine doing this sort of thing, but here we are. One of the main reasons, or at least one of the small reasons why I'm even talking about this guy is kind of a petty reason, I'll admit, but it feels justified. So I at least want to highlight the little bit of hypocrisy going on that I've seen. Uh, it's not even about action games either, uh, which is the funniest part, but I promise this will be the first and last time I'll make a video about him at all. Unless he plays Dragon's Dogma 2 and says some nonsensical crap about the game. Before we get all into this nonsense, just know that this isn't about me being a better player than DSP. I still have a lot to learn about Tekken in general. No, this is about DSP being a hypocrite, putting the blame of him losing in matches onto his opponent or some other dumb crap. There have been times where I wanted to make a video about some of the games that he played, like Devil May Cry 5 or Devil May Cry 3, but after witnessing his Tekken 8 shenanigans the other day, yeah, I wanted to point out how absurd and obnoxious he is. For anyone out there that may be living under a rock, DSP Gaming is a longtime YouTuber who streams for a living. He streams various games and his skill is uh, sort of questionable. Uh, sometimes he can be fairly competent with what he's doing and other times let the combat work it missed again the sword missed again it did it missed again he's right in front of me he's right the fuck there it missed again this is complete shit. Yeah, not so good. Which would be fine. I mean, I understand not everyone's good at every game out there, but when you start blaming the developers or blaming your opponent for being a scrub in a fighting game, then yeah, you, you got some issues, buddy. When he started playing Street Fighter VI, this was kind of amplified tenfold because he kept claiming that the players that he was fighting against were all bad players. What a great player. Wow, you really earned your win. Again, it's just, it, there's no point to playing it anymore. There's no point to playing it anymore. None. He has not hit me with legit moves at all. He's drive impact spamming. I can't counter his drive impact. He gets me in the corner. I literally can't tech a single fucking throw. None of them tech. So you can't play the game on master rank because all the connections are shit. Every single one of them. Complete nonsense. And of course, if, I, if he had not done that, I, or if I had not attacked there, Right? And he, I just blocked it. I won. I won. That was it. That was the end of the game. But the guy just spams and lag and gets away with it. And I can't block on reaction. So it's just a spammed EX move. You suck shit. You're a terrible fucking player. You don't deserve a single win. You suck. Just spam and lag. Spam drive impact. Spam this. Spam that. What a waste. So yeah, I'm pretty fucking frustrated, guys. I feel like I'm just spinning wide wheels here, wasting time against a, an army of fucking terrible scrub players who aren't good, don't know how to play, and get away with spam. And I can't stop the spam. I literally can't stop the spam. These idiots just stand there mashing buttons and I can't stop their mashing. He, he does this in every fighting game that he's ever played from Street Fighter to King of Fighters to Mortal Kombat and, and yes, Tekken. With the newest installment of Tekken, Dark Side Phil took it upon himself to play Tekken 8. Now, Tekken is a hard game to learn. I don't play many fighters myself since I usually play Melee and Project M in my spare time and the only other fighting game I play is Guilty Gear Rev 2, but I've always wanted to play Tekken properly because I've played through the series as a longtime casual fan. Even with Tekken 7, I, I tried to learn a little bit, but I wasn't very good. So when Tekken 8 came around, I told myself that I wanted to learn how to play, at least learn to play at a competent level with Yoshimitsu, since I really liked the character due to his complexity and trickery. Like this man has 180 moves to use with his moveset and a lot of them are really wacky. And I've seen a lot of players do some cool stuff with Yoshimitsu. So imagine my surprise when I witnessed DSP Dark Side Phil fumble his way on ranked using Yoshimitsu. This is the same guy who thought it would be a great idea to run away from lightning and tears of the kingdom and then complains when he gets hit by it. You're kidding me! 
Riding full speed, the lightning hones in on you and it hits you. You see, this, is, this isn't fun. I'm sorry. Randomly, a gloom monster appears, takes all of your hell. Oh, you don't have enough stamina to climb something standard at the beginning of the game. Oh, lightning just hones in on you and then kills you. How is this a fun? It's bullshit. It seems like they put stupid, annoying mechanics in the game that take away the fun factor. Like, why the fuck did they do that? How was that fun, what just happened? And how did that add anything to the game? And what was the point? There was no point to it at all. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to harp about any drama surrounding him because I want to put a spotlight on the insane hypocrisy that I've seen from various videos containing his Tekken 8 matches, including watching one of his streams. With DSP playing Tekken 8, his excuses have come back again, blaming his problems on lag, his opponent spamming attacks, his inputs not coming out, the whole nine yards. But because I have some experience in Tekken now, I can accurately point out what DSP is doing wrong. So let's look at a typical match and see what usually happens when he plays. Not what I did, I just forward forward two kicks. That's what he gave me. I, what is that move? How am I supposed to stop it? How do I stop that kick? Because he does it a million times. I can't stop it. Look! I can't stop it. He fades back and gets a free kick and you can't punish it. Okay. okay. More floaty combo bullshit that I can't stop. You're not timing anything. You're just button pushing What the fuck? I couldn't punish the kick that went the wrong direction. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Good work. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have done super. I thought, gee, after all that spam, maybe he'd be open. Nope. I tried to sidestep. He jumped instead. More spamming. Just spamming combos. Oh, spam the launcher. I'm dead now. He can combo super and I lose. Yep. Literally just spam. Just throw out a random launcher. Hope it hits. And it does. Game over. Yeah, this character is bullshit. How the fuck did he hit me with anything skillful at all the whole round? He did it all. Literally. It's just tossing out random move, random move, and it's all safe. So immediately toss out another combo after the first combo. I can't punish anything. You suck. You literally just pick a spammable character. Congratulations, you suck. Now, take what you've seen and repeat it for roughly two hours within the stream, and that's what you get. Good old quality DSB content. At least in his eyes. He does this quite frequently to no one's surprise, but what's fascinating to me is when he starts playing against a player who's using a character that he has used before. Why did that whiff? It went right through his body. Oh my god. Is that a low? Because I was just standing there and it hit me anyway. It's gonna be every time, I can't stop it. He literally just did spam the same move three times in a row. It hits me every time. I'm not even doing anything. I don't know why I'm getting hit. I haven't done anything. Free combo for him, even though I didn't do anything wrong. Can't block low, I tried. Yeah, look at this. Everything is counter hitting me. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Every button counter hits. Every fucking move is a, a move that just is out there, meaty, and counter hits everything I attempt to do. That's fucking stupid. Mm. I don't know how to stop that punch. It hits me every fucking time. 
Why? How, what do I do? It hits me every fucking time. It's like an unblockable. Why did it go on? Dude, that move was under all my moves and stops every move and I can't block it. What the fuck? My punch went through his dropkick as if I never did it. Dude, I can't stop that. What is that fucking move? It hits me every time. What is this stupid shit now? I can't stop it. It hits me every fucking time. Can't block low. I lose now. Dude, that stupid punch hits me every fucking time he did it. It never would allow me to do anything to it. It's a guaranteed hit. Let me lay out something for you guys. This man has already played King in Tekken 8 and Tekken 7 before he started using Yoshimitsu. I've even seen videos of him using King in Tekken Revolution, which was 10 years ago. And from what I know, he has played Tekken 3. So I'm assuming he also played King in Tekken 3. King has been one of his mains he has continued to use up until Tekken 8. So I would think that he would realize that forward forward neutral was one of King's staple moves he had in his arsenal since Tekken 1. It's not a move that was added recently. You should know what this move is capable of, DSP. Why would you keep falling for it? Why would you even keep complaining about this move when King is one of the main characters that you play? What makes me laugh is that he says, what is that move while he's fighting the King? And then he says the input for it. Any move I do, it's a free hit for him. What is that bullshit? Why? <laughs> wow, let's give King a move. Forward, forward, neutral, right punch. and just hits everything in the game. He doesn't even have to do anything. He's not timing it. He's just literally doing this. This is his whole round. And then it hits me and then he wins. So you know how to execute it, but you don't know that it's a low. <laughs> it's funny to hear him whine and complain about the people he's fighting against because anytime something works for DSP, especially if he's doing it over and over and over again, he doesn't say a damn thing about it. He doesn't even consider it spam like every other person that he fights and cries about. He simply states that his opponent is falling for his tricks. But the moment he starts getting on the receiving end of a strategy working on him, he claims that a move is broken or that the player is just spamming. My personal favorite, combo spam. Okay. Free move for her. Free spam combo. Look at this fucking scrub. Okay, it stuffed me three times in a row. His fucking combo spam stuffs me. You literally won because of spam. Now he's just doing combo spam. I just don't like that the, 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 I was beaten by combo spam. This fucking sucks. So what they're all using now, they've all learned a strategy online that is probably easily avoidable, but I don't know because I've never seen it. I've never seen a king do a low, that low kick in the throw. This man would rather walk through shards of glass barefoot than to ever accept responsibility for his mistakes. His examples of combo spam include people just simply overwhelming him with attacks or simply just using the same combo string over and over again, which he does himself. Even when he fights someone that literally does not block low, he will use the same down back one two attack over again with Yoshimitsu while insulting his opponent. Wow, what a great player. Literally, he just doesn't block low. I can hit him every fucking time. <laughs> what the fuck? I literally could have done that the whole time. Uh, I literally could have done that the entire round, and he just never blocks. He's an idiot. You see what I mean about these fucking people? They think they're good. No, you're good, huh? Anyway, all right. Oh, <laughs> and my favorite is how he complains about flashy moves. Yes, you heard me. He complains about anime moves. A fighting game that contains ninjas, wrestlers, cyborgs, and all kinds of characters is allowed. Oh, but anime moves? <laughs> no, we can't have those. What the fuck, dude? Are you kidding? He mashed it. He did anime full screen kick. It made the whole game's frames drop. I couldn't tell where he was or what was going on. It just hits me. Anime full screen spam kick. Do you see what I mean about this fucking game? Why are characters like him and Elisa in the game? How is that fair? The whole fight we're playing fair. Oh, it's the end of the fight. Wake up super like a scrub. Spam full screen frame dropping anime like kick that instantly teleports me and you can't do anything about it. What the fuck was that? That was terrible. That wasn't good gameplay in any way. That was trash gameplay.
I didn't want to bash his playstyle that much, but since I brought up how he plays, I like how he complains about these people using simplistic strategies, yet DSP has the most one note Yoshimitsu I have ever seen in my entire life. He spams 1-1 one, one, and back 2-2 two, two constantly if he's being pressured, not really adjusting his game plan to people who manage to duck or sidestep his jabs, completely ignoring Flash, claiming that it's useless after the most recent patch, and only uses it within combos. 1 plus 4 doesn't work anymore, they nerfed Flash, don't ever tell me to use Flash because it doesn't, it doesn't work at all. It has insanely small range and doesn't counter hit properly anymore. So saying spam one plus four against Steve is the worst advice you could give. They literally, look, he doesn't, he doesn't move anymore. It does nothing. Look. <laughs> it's terrible. For Flash, it still works just fine. The range is only tighter when Yoshimitsu's sword is already out, but in no sword stance, the range has not been nerfed, at least to my knowledge. It's a few frames slower than regular Flash, but it's still a reliable tool if you want to get pressure off of you at the right moment. I'm not a professional player or even a good player, but I still find use for Flash even within my own game plan. Also, as I showed you earlier in the video, he will use down back one, two after a jab. He would do this once or twice before running up for a rainbow drop throw. And he'll attempt this in almost every round that he plays. Even if it doesn't work and he gets punished for it, he will do it again without adapting at all. In this clip, you can see him use down back one, two again, and then he does it a second time. And this Asuka player is ready for it. So this person uses their rage art to punish him for it. And then Phil being Phil rages at the rage art. Super! You're a purple doing desperation super. Wow, a purple player mashes desperation super. That's amazing, dude. Yeah, wow. Oh my god, I can't believe that sh at all. <laughs> He's like, he's like a little kid, guys. Can't he take it away from him? It was funny, right? It happens again with another match. With DSP doing the same scrubby tactic again, and he gets punished with another rage art again. Super! He's gonna kill me. Yep, that's gonna kill me because he spams wake up super, hoping I'll attack. Such a scrubby move. Such an ultimate fucking scrub move. Wake up super. Didn't time it at all. He just said, oh, I hope he attacks. Even when his opponents are pretty decent, as in they actually know what they're doing, they're sidestepping, they're whiff punishing, they're creating backdashing, DSP will always downplay their skill by saying that he's doing nothing wrong. I didn't attack and he hits me with a crumple move and it leads to a giant combo. I never attacked. How did you hit me? I didn't do anything. So is there a mechanic where you guard break? It wasn't an unblockable, so how can I block? I, I just don't get it, man. It takes the mind of a hollow rock to be this stubborn. I have seen a lot of things in my days, but I think DSP is the worst when it comes to accepting defeat. Because when DSP says that he doesn't know why he's getting hit or that he was not pressing anything when he got comboed into oblivion, uh, when you go back and check his replays, you see that he is pressing a lot of buttons. And I, I'm starting to think that, you know what, maybe every time that DSP plays a fighting game, he just he becomes possessed by a, a random ghost that just wanders in his house, and he doesn't realize what's going on, so that's why he's speaking tongues. Do you really think he knows what he's doing? He didn't even land a combo. <laughs> he hasn't even landed a single combo. 12 seconds later. Look at the damage he's getting. Off of one random spam combo. Well, can't. Oh, f this fucking bullshit. You fucking scrub. Get the fuck over here, you little bitch. The button spam beats everything. He literally had, doesn't know how to play Tekken. He has no fucking clue. He's a dunce. This Lee is a dunce. Yet here he is, Korean backdashing with fairly clean inputs, mind you, and with punishing DSP's jabs. This guy clearly was getting information from DSP during the first match, and he completely downloaded him. Do, do you see what I mean? This Lee is outright manhandling DSP, yet he can't comprehend what's going on on the screen. He didn't interrupt, he didn't time, he just, just keep throwing kicks. Let's do it. Here it comes. If I get one hit, I'm gonna get a giant combo. So here we go. Fucking trash, man. What a horrible person and a horrible player.
Okay, so he, he's tired of Lee's kick spam, right? Okay, so we're gonna fix that problem. We're gonna watch a match where he plays against, you know, Steve. Steve likes to punch, right? So guess what his excuse is this time? I want you to take a wild guess. I'm over and over, I can't, look, here it comes. I can just do punch, 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 punch. Now I'm gonna do punch, 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 punch. Wow, you're so good. Punch, 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 punch. Look, what the f do you want me to do? It ne his punches never stop. There's not even a hole in the punching. It's literally non-stop punching. How the f do you expect me to stop that? I'm not a fast character, and I have one super armor move. Let me explain to you why I think Steve is DSP's worst matchup. Not Yoshimitsu. In the hands of a good player, I think Yoshimitsu can be very adaptable. Like, he can handle most situations for different characters. At least to my knowledge, I could be wrong. F feel free to correct me. But in the hands of DSP, you might as well just give that controller to a toddler because all what's going to happen is that DSP is going to try to jab and then that Steve is going to check that jab with a punch that will cripple him and lead into a combo. There's the crumble punch. Counter hits everything I do. Fighting games can be stressful for a lot of different people. Whether it's a moment of anger or a moment of excitement, fighting games can bring out the best and worst in various people who play them. Even me, I, I'm guilty of it too. Sometimes I get way too hyped for my own good. <laughs> but there comes a point where a certain level of respect that needs to be considered if you have people watching you play even if it's fake rage no supporter will feel engaged in your content if you're simply raging for the sake of it which i highly believe that dsp does this from time to time but when you have moments like this a supporter getting punished because they thought dsp's opponent played well then you got some issues that you need to work out. Button spam! Are you shitting me? Literally nothing time. Fuck this guy. Fuck this fucking guy. Literally all button spam. The whole fucking round button spam. Getting away with it. Every fucking move. Get the fuck out of here. Every hit a lucky ass fucking move. Bull. Fucking lame. Yeah? Oh, you think he played super well? Well, you're banned. Fuck you. He didn't play super well. He fucking sucked. He fucking button spammed from mid-screen over and over and over. I couldn't do anything about it. It was fucking stupid shit. It's moments like this where I truly believe that DSP cannot and will not grow as a fighting game player and even a content creator. He's quick to blame his mistakes on other factors than to analyze his own faults. This is true scrub mentality. A person who is never willing to accept that maybe it's them that needs to adapt or maybe admit that their opponent is a better player and they need to focus on their mistakes. But in this case, I'm afraid that DSP will continue to be a scrub.